Now, one of the questions they always ask in the FMG exam is blunt abdominal trauma. In a patient with blunt abdominal trauma, the first step is in evaluation called as FAST to look for any solid organ injury which will lead to hemoperitoneum all clear yes very good but here i am asking you e fast what is e fast extended fast that means we are not only going to look for peritoneum we will also look at the thorax what is the answer thoracic abnormality thoracic cavity are you clear extended fast answer is thorax how many of you got it right very good patient with fatigue 12 year old boy and the x-ray shown to you they like asking congenital heart disease. Anytime they say a patient with congenital heart disease with cyanosis and plethora, always remember two answers. TGA, TAPVC. Okay. Child should have cyanosis, lung should have increased vascularity, plethora. There are only two answers. TGA, TAPVC. Very important FMG question. If the heart is shaped like a snowman, or they might say figure of 8. You will mark the answer as TAPVC. If the heart is shaped like an egg on side, then you will go for transposition of great arteries. Both of them have cyanosis and plethora. In this particular question, the answer will be supracardiac TAPVC. So always remember, snowman appearance is characteristic of which type of TAPVC? Supracardiac TAPVC. Other questions also you remember boot shaped heart, tetralogy of phallet, egg on side heart, TGA, a box shaped heart, Epstein's anomaly. Okay, these are also potential questions in your exam. Radio sensitivity is a very important topic in your exam. Which phase of the cell cycle is most radio sensitive? What is the answer? G2M. But that is not in the choice. If that is not in the choice, you should mark M phase. If instead of most they say least, then mark late. S phase. Very important potential question. Which bone sarcoma is radio resistant? Osteosarcoma. Which bone sarcoma is radio sensitive? Ewing sarcoma. Again a possible question for your upcoming FMG exam. They like to ask very basic questions like PET scan is used in staging of gastroesophageal tumor. Why? What do you want to do with PET scan? We want to look for distant metastasis. We want to do staging in esophagus and stomach cancer by looking for distant metastasis. PET scan uses FDG, fluorodeoxyglucose. Again, a possible question in your exam, which is a glucose analog and the cancer cells are glucose hungry because of an inefficient metabolism of glycolysis happening because of Warburg effect. Always remember, it helps us to find how the cancer has spread. It helps us to look at the distant metastasis. It helps us for staging. Okay. If they say local staging, T staging, okay, then you will say endoscopic ultrasound in esophagus. That's also a possible question. Patient has a ch three year old child has barky cuff, barky cuff, critical. And you can see on the neck x ray, the appearance looks like the steeple of a church. On the neck x ray, the appearance looks like a steeple of a church. Steeple sign on neck x ray is always, always characteristic of laryngotracheobronchitis called as croup. The answer is croup or laryngotracheobronchitis. Okay. What do we see in this particular x-ray? This patient is one day old with respiratory failure. You don't see the stomach here. And actually, if I zoom in, you can see the bowel loop, including the stomach. You can see the Ryles tube has gone into the thorax. Bowel loops have gone into the thorax. The heart is pushed to the other side. Mediastinal shift to the other side. What do you think? left-sided diaphragmatic hernia of Bogdelec. This is a Bogdelec hernia. Diaphragmatic hernia is a multiple time repeated image-based question in your FMG exam. Keep it in mind. I want you to solve it very, very clearly. Don't make a mistake here. Okay. Then the next question, this patient has acute abdominal pain and the x-ray shown to you. What do you think? Now, whenever we see a patient in emergency with a dilated transverse colon, this is transverse colon. Can you see? It is crossing the spine. This is a colonic loop, which is transverse colon. Massively dilated. Patient in emergency. And there are no hostre seen. So, in patients with inflammatory bowel disease, they might come to you, especially ulcerative colitis. They might come to you with acute abdomen and a dilated transverse colon more than 6 cm. Think of the answer as toxic megacolon. 
toxic megacolon okay very important question a complication of ulcerative colitis if the transverse colon is more than 6 cm think of toxic megacolon this patient is getting radiotherapy which of them will be least affected okay don't you know please don't miss out the word least affected okay not most so we know gonads gi intestine bone marrow cells are always radiosensitive new nervous tissue are radio resistant so the answer will be neurons in the brain rest three are all radio sensitive tissue remember bone marrow is highly radio sensitive gonadal cells somatogonia radio sensitive in gi mucosa rapidly dividing cell highly radio sensitive answer is neurons in the brain this patient has a one-sided one hour history of hemiparesis you are looking for cerebral infarction a very important previous question it can be asked in fmg exam again brain infarct is earliest seen on diffusion weighted mri if they say stroke and ask you first step please mark ncct if they say infarct earliest please mark diffusion weighted mri which can show you infarct within minutes of onset okay minutes of onset also remember on ct scan brain infarct the earliest sign will be dense mca sign dense mca sign very important okay final question this patient has uh, productive cuff malodorous sputum what do you think i am sure if you look at this question carefully you can see in this question a cavitatory lesion with fluid level that means there is a cavity like lesion with fluid inside that means there is an inflammatory problem with fluid inside what fluid that means there is pus if you have pus and an air fluid level on a chest x-ray always mark the answer as lung abscess so the answer here is lung abscess and i am sure you did 10 out of 10 right asli exam may be pure theek karke aane hai is bar 200 par i want a full full pura result chahiye mujhe aapse aur uske baad zarur milenge और यहीं पे आई एम श्योर आपका इंटरव्यू भी करेंगे पार्टी भी करेंगे बढ़िया रिजल्ट लेके आएंगे और मिलते हैं मैं पूरा जोश में हूँ इस बार मुझे लगता है कि डैम्स के आने के कारण एफएमजी रिजल्ट का पूरा स्ट्रक्चर चेंज कर देंगे आई विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट कीप रॉकिंग